Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another video. So, today's video, it's an exciting one because we're getting rid of a car. And that always means another one's coming. But if you're not familiar, we have been graced with the presence of this 1995 EF Falcon Futura. And it is a marketplace $300 purchase that we uh, we grabbed about five or six months ago. So she's a little rough around the edges. If you haven't seen the last few videos, please go check them out as we uh, cleaned her up over time. This side being sort of the roughest. But all in all, we went over her, gave her a nice clean up, chucked some alloys on her, threw a little bit of parts on her, and today is the day that she's going because we sold her, thank God. <laughs> I've had this car in Marketplace for about two weeks and um, I've had probably, I reckon, maybe 120, 130 messages on Marketplace, mostly time wasters. As you guys probably know, when you put stuff on Marketplace, people that have maybe one or two brain cells, if I'm being generous, always tend to message you and just waste your time. I've actually had some genuine interest in it, um, which is good. A lot of you have seen it on the Marketplace from the channel and messaged me, so thank you. One of my mates reached out to me and said that he really wants it for a drift build, so I ended up selling it to him. And now because he's one of my mates, so I looked after him on price, obviously. So I'm gonna try and stand here, guys, because I'm out of the wind. If I stand over here, the wind will hit me really hard. So now before we get into pricing and everything, um, we'll just have a look, because the car's been sitting outside for a couple of weeks now, and the interior still looks really nice in it. For what it is, you know, 300 bucks, the car really presents well um, for, you know, the headlining being immaculate. <laughs> I haven't seen headlining this nice in an EF in quite a while. <laughs> You know, this side of the car, the paint is actually really, really nice on it. And having the Fairmont front as well, really makes the car look nice. You know, we put our new corner lights on it too. Spice her up a bit, new bonnet struts, brand new battery, just stuff the car really needed. The biggest letdown of this car, in my opinion, was it's got very noisy lifter tick. I think the lifters need to be replaced. Um, I put lifter tick noise reducer stuff in it, but it didn't really work. But the car drives really nice. Brakes, brand new brakes. Probably see in there, brand new rotors. Looks nice on the AU alloys and one FG stocky. <laughs> it was on these sort of wheels I had lying around for Falcons. All right, so I just moved the car over here because we've got less wind in the corner here. She does look good. <laughs> so if you watched the last video, you will know that we're in the car for $671. That's buying the car, the cost of the car, plus everything we did to it. You know, just, just parts, no labor costs, no nothing. So uh, we're in the car for 671, which I thought was pretty decent. It's very hard to find a running and driving decent example of a Falcon for 600. You know, you can find them, they're out there, but it's getting harder and harder to find them like back in the day. But the good thing about it is the car is like fully complete. <laughs> There's nothing you really need to get for it. Um, it's got all the stuff in the boot, all the spare, all the tool kit. So all it really needs to be put back on the road is lifters done, um, front ball joints, front springs, or actually front shocks, because the shocks will be bouncy. It is lowered. It's kind of on a weird angle, so the back looks high, but it's lowered. So stock springs, jack it up a bit. So my mate came to me and said, hey, look, I really want the car. Um, first drift build, never had a rear wheel drive car, he's only had front wheel drive cars. And he said to me like, you know, I'll be keen on it. I said, dude, look, if, if you want it, I know it's gonna be an entry level drift car for you, so I'll look after you on price, obviously. Um, you know, I gotta make some on my end um, to cover the cost of the vehicle. But at the same time, I want him to have some fun for no money. So he came over, had a look at it, and he ended up taking it for a test drive. Really liked it, the lifters didn't bother him too much, and the car drove nice enough that he sent me an offer straight away. <laughs> so he came in at 800, and I said, look, you know, I was almost gonna take the 800, but it would cover the cost of the car, obviously. Um, so I was hoping to get around a thousand dollars for it. So I said to him, look, I'll, I'll chuck um, fuel in it. I'll fill it up because fuel's expensive these days. Counter offered him 900 and he said, yep. Yeah. So we sold it for 900. So I'm pretty wrapped with that. Um, obviously I had people in marketplace offer me like 250, you know, hundred bucks. I tried to send them to the nearest brothel, which was pretty funny, but, but I think 900 for a pretty, you know, decent car, just chuck some lifters in it. He wants to register it. So it's not far off being registered. And uh, he's going to have a bit of a daily drifter with a hydro and all that. So it's going to be a cool car. Um, I think the E-Series is a cool looking car to turn into a drift car, put some fat wheels on it, stuff like that. But yeah, I was really wrapped with the price. Um, usually when I flip a car, it'll be much quicker. I've had this car for six months already. So it's a very, very slow turnover. Um, when you have 12 cars, it's hard to, you know, put time into just one. It's one of those cars that doesn't really mean anything to me. So no matter what car I flip, I still have some attachment to it. So I want it to go to a good home. There's no better home for it to go to than a good friend of mine. At least um, when he does drift it, I'm gonna be helping him with the build. So you'll still see this car on the channel most likely. Hopefully a call to park, smack them doors on my AU. So there's not really much else to go over. That's pretty much it. Um, I'm gonna wait for him to come pick up the car. And then when it leaves, we'll do a bit of an outro or something when the car goes. I hope this inspires you to go out and just do it. It's, it's a lot of fun. Just go pick up a cheap car. Yeah, don't screw people over. It's happened to me that many times when people have screwed me over with selling a car. Telling me it's a car that it's really not. So guys, just go out there and just have fun. Have fun, do it. Make a little bit of coin. Work your way up the scale. 
quick little story before the car gets picked up. Years ago, I started um, flipping cars to work my way up to cars. So I bought, at the time, it was a Lexus LS400. It was 1500 bucks. And then I got that on the road, and then I swapped it for an E30 BMW. And then the E30, I cleaned up really nicely. I sold that, brought a VR4 twin turbo Legnum. They're worth about, you know, six, seven grand. Sold that, brought my Patrol, my first Patrol, which was uh, six and a half. And then sold that, and then bought the LS Patrol. So like, slowly work my way up from, you know, cheap car to a nice car. And if you keep going, you can really, you know, work your way up to nice sports car, nice supercar, whatever you want to do. So it's good fun. So I think what I want to do, I want to continue this. Um, with the money that we make from this car, I want to put into something else. So let's say we made the 900 on this car. Let's go buy another Ford or Holden or something for six, seven hundred. Sell that for 1100, and we'll just keep, we'll just keep, we'll do it on the side. I reckon it'll be a lot of fun. Um, there's no, no, no stress, no drama. Just to, just have fun. All right, I'm gonna do it. So it keeps my mind occupied when I'm not working on these things behind me. So it's a good break from the from the other cars just to work on something really cheap. I don't know, I find this stuff just as exciting than working on the expensive stuff. We'll stop blabbering along, wait for our buddy to pick this machine up and say goodbye to it. There she goes. And there you have it guys, our $300 Marketplace Falcon. It was a bloody derelict car. It was covered in so many freaking cobwebs. I think I nearly got bitten by two redbacks taking the rear bumper bar off, but it was such a fun car to delve into. Replace a lot of our wear items that were just looking absolutely disgusting. We put some cool parts on her, put a nice fresh look of paint on some places that were really looking disgusting. This car was sitting under a tree for so freaking long that a lot of the parts on the car were decaying like the paint, but we put new fresh struts in it. We had the smart lock lock us out twice. The car was stranded in my backyard but luckily we had Brendan to save us once again put some new brake rotors on her with some pads and also made sure we did some thorough testing on the car to make sure that it worked so all in all I had an absolute blast doing this car I'm so glad it's going to go to a friend of mine that's going to enjoy it it's his first proper rear wheel drive car and he's going to daily and skid it which is what it's intended to do so I'm glad we could save it if you don't remember from our last video we also sold my green EF Falcon daily now I was so sad to give that car up but we ended up paying $1,400 for that car with rego and we sold it for two and a half thousand so we made eleven hundred dollars on that car so that was a nice little flip I did on the side I didn't really film it as a flip series we made a bit of profit on it and I'm so sad that car's gone but the new owner is enjoying it thoroughly so I just want to say thank you all so much for watching this I hope this inspires you to go out and buy a cheap car I had so much fun doing this and I can't wait to see what we can do in the future if we can snowball this and get some nicer cars from a $300 car thank you all so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this one and we'll see you in the next one bye